Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because today we are here at DCA's Food and Wine Festival. So we're gonna grab some drinks, grab some food items, maybe see some live entertainment, but we are excited because the last time we were here was in 2020. And you all know what happened that year. So we're just excited to be back and show you what you can expect next time you guys come down to the park. All right, let's get ready. friends so we decided to take a little break and sit down after that incredible band it's actually called the Tina Aldana band that you guys just saw she's an incredible vocalist she said she's from Texas so shout out to her that was incredible I loved it and what I love is that they have on the app all the times that you guys can come and check out different types of entertainment so not only is she performing but there's a swing band performing a Philharmonic Yes, but Kenny picked up for me over at Sonoma Terrace. It is a Sebastiani Cabernet, and it is 11 bucks. So this isn't part of the food and wine, but they sell wine there. So for me, it's part of my day. Yeah, Disney hack. Sometimes these lines get crazy long at the uh, food and wine festival booths, but mm -hmm. if you want wine, just go to Sonoma Terrace. Mobile order, super quick. Shout out to Elijah. Ooh, yeah. Our favorite, uh, drink pour. Yeah. <laughs> Super easy to go there. It's kind of like a little hidden spot. It's literally right in the middle of everything. So. Yeah. So right now we're sitting in front of Mickey's Fun Wheel and we are going to have a plan of attack on what foods we're going to get, what booths we're going to attend, and what other drinks we can bring you guys. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed that live entertainment. There's a little merch booth. Got a hoodie. We got a food and wine t-shirt, hat, and then Kenny's Life is Great. I love that color. And then it has DC in the back. We got some tumblers, a trivet, and we got some great food and wine glasses. Ooh. Yeah, I'll turn it around. Super cute. And then I'm loving these ears. Look how adorable these are. A spatula and a little whisk. Ooh, and they've got some really cool pins. Can you answer this? Oh my gosh. Again, that Carthay vibe. You've got Minnie and Daisy, and then Chip, I know. Hey, uh, Chip and Dale. Those are adorable. Okay, so Kenny's over here buying our Sip and Saver classes. Just so you guys know, you guys don't have to go to an actual food booth, but we're here at the merch booth, and he's purchasing one right now. Okay, so what'd you get? Woo, yeah. All right, we got the Sip and Saver pass here. Uh, the Magic Key version. Look at that right there. Boom. Uh, so, 57 for non-key holders and 52 for key holders, so. Okay. Boom, boom. I like that. All right. Ooh, see. Oh, there it goes. Nice. <laughs> All Love right. It. We got it. Great. Ooh, and look at that. This, this is great. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the nicer ones. Right over the, kind of like, some of them just, like, look regular and say, magic key. Yeah. Or AP on it or something. No, that's great. All right, we're headed here to the Paradise Garden area where it's now the Festival Beer Garden for Food and Wine. And then we're going to make our plans. Our plan of attack. 
Okay, so we are headed in to Paradise Pier where we're gonna have here at the, uh, the beer garden area where they've got craft beers. So let me show you what they have because they actually broaden their selection whenever there is a food and wine. So let me show you what they have. All right, guys, so here they've got flights of beer. They've got a lot of craft, IPAs. Again, different selection than they normally have. So we're gonna get in line and try some stuff. It's over here by Goofy Sky School, just in case you were wondering. Beer. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so we picked up Kenny's beer, and now we're gonna sit down and have a plan of attack of what we're gonna eat and other drinks that we're gonna pick up. One of the other things they have are some really cool art displays for the food and wine. So here's one of the artists. And right here, look at this, is one of his displays. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. So it says, stand here, and then you take the picture. So I don't know if this is like some kind of forced perspective art. This looks beautiful. What's for dinner? And it's right here in the Paradise Grill area. Sorry, Paradise Garden area, not grill. Right? So this is the pickup line all the way back there. Nope, this is not a ride. This is the pickup line to get our our item. So, it's Friday, granted, but still, this is kind of intense. Kind of intense to go pick up food. You think you're getting on cars or something. Not fun. So just so you guys know, when we went to go order multiple items at the booth, which you can do, the gal told us that you they actually stop allowing people to do that at a certain time, technically an hour before the booths close. So keep that in mind when you think you can go and order all your items and then go to all the booths and pick them up. You can't do that an hour before the booths close, which I get because they might be out of something in another booth. So something to keep in mind but definitely a bummer. All right guys, so we got our grilled sirloin from Garlic Kiss. The line was so long. It took us, I think 20 minutes to get the food. It moved rapidly, but the line was insanely long. So pro tip, check the pickup line before you order food because guess what? Even if you order food, you have to pick it up the same day. So you can't take this receipt and come back the next day. So learn from us. Learn from us. Look at the line. That's so, what we're here for. Yeah. That's help what we're you. here for. Is to help you guys get the most out of your experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this top sirloin. We got to pick it up again at the garlic kiss. And I'll let you guys know what we think. So this is, again, this is the grilled top sirloin from Carly Kiss. It was $8.25, and uh, here's my review. And it's garnished with red peppers. Cheers. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry, but this is really good. So, so good. Definitely worth trying. Woo! And you can taste that garlic which I absolutely love garlic. Ooh! Holy cow! What? Those peppers are spicy! <laughs> if you like spicy like I like spicy, these are hot. These are really good and spicy. Hot, hot, hot! Woo! How was it? It's good. The mashed potatoes are bomb. Right? How was that little spice, the pepper? Um, it wasn't spicy. Where you was, you got a spicy one, so. Ooh, yeah, I did. It's like having sushi. I'm just seeing food on, on deck. Seriously. No, that's good. It's not like I went to like a fancy restaurant. All right, guys, so that is gonna be it for us tonight. This is probably gonna be a two-part video, because- Two-part two in one video. There you go. <laughs> there you go, yes. So it's not gonna look right. fluid. Right, yes, because 
this night did not turn out the way we thought it was gonna turn out, but that's okay. You know, we're gonna give you guys tips and tricks, that way you guys have the best experience next time you guys come. The lines were insanely long. We only got to try one food item, which we loved, so hopefully you guys can try that out next time. But we'll be back. We'll be back on Sunday, and we'll give you guys some more food reviews, some more drink reviews, and we'll be here through the day. So, it'll be fun. So, wait, hold on. We're not really, like, we don't review food. Right, right, right. We just try food and be like, oh, <laughs> pretty bomb. That was, yeah, you should try it. Right. Well, you guys are going to see us again uh, over the next couple days doing these... Uh, trying foods. Trying foods vlogs. Yeah. Different clothes maybe. Who knows? But just know that this is not... No, gonna I'm going to be wearing the same thing. <laughs> you will. It's not going to be a one straight video, but that's okay. I, this is an honest, you know, experience of the food and wine. And listen, we're just happy to be here. We haven't had it since 2020, and so I'm just excited that we're going to try some things and show you guys what our experience is. Yeah, it's not going to be a linear experience for any of you. That's okay. So, yeah. These are along for the journey, right? With that, friends, get ready for the next day. <laughs> Hello, amazing friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited because we are here at Disney California Food and Wine Festival. So I'm excited to try some new food, some new drinks, some desserts, and uh, see what else is new here at the parks for springtime. So let's get ready. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> He's gonna stalk me all the way into the park. Okay, so one of the very first things you guys should do is pick up the food and wine guide, festival guide, and then you've got your tasting passport. Because, because when you guys open it, you guys are gonna see where all of the festival marketplace booths are numbered. And then right here, it's gonna show you a map of the park and where they are located. So pretty easy peasy, pretty cool. And then you can also see the participating locations. Like you've got Pim Tasting Lab, Pim Test Kitchen, Smoker Jumper Grill, where they have also some of the food items for the festival. And then you're gonna see where those are located as well. And then what I also love is they have the event locations. So you're able to see what events are happening and where they are happening. So that way you don't miss out of any of the fun. And then this passport guide is kind of similar, but more specifics. So again, you've got the participating locations, you've got the event locations, but they go into more depth about the booth, each booth and the food items and the beverages. So LA style, you can see, you know, like what's vegan or what is kid friendly, and then the beverages and things like that. Pretty straightforward. Again, you've got your map and participating locations. So definitely pick these up. Okay, look at this heavenly goodness. So this is, we stopped over at the Golden Dreams booth. Okay, so I picked up the Orange Honey Cold Brew and it's made with Joffrey's Coffee and it is also made with Orange Blossom Honey, white chocolate, orange juice, vanilla, and orange extract. And what I love is it also has, it's with almond milk. I do a lot of non, uh, I don't do dairy, so this is a perfect for me. And then over here, we've also picked up the Honey Orange Glaze Verlasso Salmon Salad with a citrus vinaigrette. Kenny's gorgeous drink right here is the Pineapple Tiki Bitter Cocktail. It has aged rum, Campari, pineapple juice, lime juice, and tiki bitters. It also has another ingredient I can't pronounce, but you can look it up. Okay, so now it's time for me to try my cold brew. Okay, right at the top, this cold brew tastes like a half and half bar. Oh, just the foam. It tastes amazing. It was only six bucks. Okay, let me drink from the straw. This is if like a half and half bar sweetly kissed your coffee, your cold coffee. This is incredible and totally worth trying. Woo, love it. And remember, it's made with almond milk, so for all my non-dairy friends. Okay, so next I'm gonna try the honey, the honey orange glazed salmon salad. Oh, 
It's good. It's refreshing. So you want something light? This is really good. Mm. Definitely taste the citrus, the orange. I love salmon, so what do you think? Well, like I already said, bomb.com. Because it's uh, yeah. salmon, and it, I feel like it should be... I'm surprised they even have something like that for the right. food wine festival, because that ain't cheap. This is really good. It's worth it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. some, <laughs> some of the items here, they're kind of like, what, obscure or random, like mm -hmm. weird. Right. It's just a normal salmon salad. Yeah. Bomb. Uh, be, um, best bang for your buck type of thing. Yeah. 850, use, you know, use your tabs on... Right. You don't want to use your tabs on the more expensive items here. Right. Or the more pricey items at the Food and Wine Festival. Yeah, you don't want to get like $6 items. <laughs> right. Right? Yeah, so $8.50, right. they could have charged 10 So good. Salmon's great. Now I'm going to try, <laughs> try the rum drink. So this is the pineapple tiki bitter cocktail that I was ta talking about. It's good if you like sweet drinks. I don't like sweet drinks, so it's a little too much for me. I don't really care for rum either, but it's still good. Uh, it's booze. <laughs> <laughs> if you like booze, you like rum, you like pineapple, this is gonna this is gonna be your jam right here. Um, I don't like rum, and I don't like sweet drinks. So for me, definitely Trader Sam's vibe. Kenny said that in his vlog. Definitely gives you that tiki vibe, um, but definitely try it if you like those things. If you don't like sweet drinks, just pass. There's some other great drinks that we're gonna try later on, so cheers. But try this for sure. Again, so good. And it has orange juice in it, if I didn't already tell you that, so. Right? Worth it. Cheers to myself. <laughs> All right. Also, just so you guys know that you're, you're going to see a lot of these little stands right here. And what I love about them is they give you great information about the festival offerings, what you can expect, some of the entertainment. And then you've got, again, I love because they always set you up just so you know what's going on. So you can be in the mix. You don't feel lost. And on this side right here on this specific, I don't know what you call it, a kiosk, some kind of stand, you're gonna see some, a couple of the items highlighted. So this is the orange honey cold brew that I picked up because it's right here next to the Golden Dream stand. And again, more info. Life Festival music. Some of the acts and bands and entertainment that will be here performing on different days. So make sure you check the app for that or online. And this is our eating spot. Hi, <laughs> I'm Ken. So we're right here in this area. It's beautiful. All right, we're gonna continue our journey. Let's do this. which is right through these doors. So just a little, a little spot, a little hidden gem spot to come and try when you guys are eating here at the food and wine. I mean, look at all this space. Now there are only like four different tables, but still, if you, you know, come up on one, sweet. Woo, Kenny got something. So we stopped over at Nets About Cheese. And so here we have got, the spicy honey apricot cocktail. It's rye whiskey, apricot, orange, lemon juice, spicy honey syrup, and bitters. And this is actually, look at this. It's like a honey stick. How beautiful is that? So we're gonna try this. Apparently we're not drinking around the world like at Epcot, but we're drinking around the Food and Wine Festival. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and That's then- That's a version of it. Yeah, exactly. 
And then I am so excited for this. This is the Snickers Caramel Peanut Milk Chocolate Mickey Macaroon. It's actually considered a vegetarian item, which, okay. It's chocolate Mickey Macaroon filled with caramel ganache and Snicker pieces. Ganache! Ganache! That looks delicious. And again, we got these at Nuts About Cheese. I'm so excited for this. And then we came over to Delish. We went to two different booths. So this is from the Delish booth. And this is actually a black and tan beef potato puffs with Carl Strauss Wreck Alley Stout Gravy. Ooh. And lager micro sponge. Don't know what that is, but we'll let you know if it tastes good. All right, here we go. Okay, hopefully the lighting's okay. Let's go ahead and try this. Try it a little bit of everything. Boom! Woo! Thank you for the light. There you go. My cameraman back there. All right, this is really good. The dish from Delish. Um, with the tots and the sponge and the gravy, the Carl Strauss gravy, definitely worth getting. So me and Kenny always try to get the most expensive item on the menu because it's going to be worth our money for the tabs. And this is the most expensive item at Delish and this is totally worth it. If you like tots or like Thanksgiving Day food, <laughs> uh, what do you think? I don't think it's... Well, it's like sweet and savory. There you go. Like sometimes it's, mm -hmm. a couple of my bites were like, oh, that's sweet. Right. Not, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Don't listen. Scratch that. <laughs> First take a bite, you're like, oh, the tater tots, and it's right. meat. And then like, then like some sweetness kicks in, and then it goes away. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's like, like that. So. I like this. Yeah, these are really good. I like potatoes. I like tater tots. Yeah. The meat was really good on there. Whatever else they put on there. But that little quick. Yes. That little quick of like yeah. sweetness. Yeah, for sure. Uh, kind of makes it interesting. Ooh. It's a little like, whoa, a little surprising, but uh, bomb. Bomb.com. All right, next I'm gonna try this drink. I am a bourbon whiskey girl, so. Are you? <laughs> I used to be. You don't know that girl anymore. <laughs> this is so good. There's a rye, a rye whiskey. If you like whiskey, if you like bourbon, this is refreshing. Woo! Again, and then this is like honey, a honey stick. Bomb. You can totally taste in here the apricot, and that's what's really good. So apricots have this like kind of this combination of a sour sweet taste. This has it. So bomb. And then it has lemon juice. Yeah. Ooh, I love anything with a good lime, lemon, something with citrus to cut the sweetness. I don't like sweet drinks. This is worth getting. Again, alcohol drinks, you have to pay extra for, but this one's gonna be worth it. And I think this is $14, so cheers, my friend. Keep, keep, it, keep it going. Yep. Take an ear, I'll take an ear. All right. Take one ear, I'll take the other ear. I'm excited for this macaroon. All right, here it goes. On camera, you guys are gonna see me eat one Hold of these ears. There you go. Here it goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Just go, man. <laughs> Just go, man. All right. Ooh. While Val's doing that. Oh my God! Oh while, good. While Val's doing that, okay. <laughs> it's part of a Mickey. Oh my God! Oh good. I'm not really big on sweets or Ooh. chocolate or anything like that. Let me mm -hmm. give you a little quick review. So I'm gonna take oh an ear. God. I'm taking an ear real quick. Right? The ganache makes it not so sweet. Bomb. It's a great dessert. Bomb. Um, six bucks? Yes, so worth it. I mean, yeah, I'm not a dessert guy, but. Me too. We're, both we're not a guy. We're both on dessert people. This is good. This is bomb. If you like sweets and you like Snickers, you gotta get it. Ganache, the ganache makes it less sweet. The caramel's perfect. And it's actually soft. It's, and chewy. It's not like a... Yeah, it doesn't take much to get into it. It's not dry. Like when something falls apart and it's super dry and it's mealy, this is so good. Ooh, with a good cold brew coffee. <laughs> Worth the money. Hold on. What? Or the tap. It's cold. Yes. 
in the, the ganache. Something cold in there. The ganache. You know what that is? I think the ganache is what makes it cool. So not ice cream. No. Not ice cream. No. Worth getting. Get a cold brew. Get this. Sit down somewhere and people watch. Perfect. Probably the only thing I've seen on the okay. food and wine right. menu of all the booths mm -hmm. that looked intriguing. Right. I, mean, I don't know if it's because it says Snickers. Yeah. But right. But you, yeah, exactly. You could taste the Snickers. I mean, I'm already done. I, I took two bites. I'm, I'm done. I'm sweet. The sweet tooth is gone. And again, we're it's not. All, it's on her. We're not sweet tooth. We're not. We're not desserty people. Um, and Unless again, it's a white chocolate macadamia cookie. Oh, that's you. All right. Not me. Last hot, last hot for you. I don't want the top. I want to finish this. Okay. I'll eat the top. All right. So good. Ah, and scene. All right, friends. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are just so excited to be back at the Food and Wine Festival. It's been two years, and with all the great food and the drinks, we didn't have anything that was really bad. I thought everything was amazing. So, but try it for yourself. Also, the merch was incredible. The what? The, the merch. All the oh, great... Oh, this? You mean like this? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so we had to buy this. Skirt, skirt. Small brag. We ended up getting this. Look at the, I mean, look. Well, <laughs> we actually bought this uh, a day before the uh, Food and Wine did. Festival started. Yeah, so. we did. Because we wanted to wear, he wanted to wear the... Beat you to the punch. <laughs> <laughs> it's an incredible spear jersey. You guys gotta check it out. It's gorgeous, the ombre. I think it'd be appropriate to say chef's kiss, right? Oh, time out. For food and time wine? Out. What? You're bringing up ombre. Let's. Oh yeah. You gotta get in on this. Look. You know, if you're gonna talk about ombre, you gotta, you gotta. So look at right there, kind of a light burgundy, and then down, Ooh. farther down you go, fades to like a purple. Nice. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Small brag, no big deal. It's so dramatic. <laughs> but, 75 bucks. Yes, it's 75 bucks. Don't forget to use your discount if you are a magic key holder. But from the merch to the food and also the crowds, I'm just grateful to be back in the parks. Pro tip, please come. I know spring break is right, right around the corner, so but it's been it's a Monday. The crowds here are so light. I feel like it's the calm before the storm though. Just you know, yeah, because spring break is coming, so something to keep in mind. Uh, last time we were here on a Friday and we waited 30 minutes to get our food. That is a really long time and really abnormal. So try to come maybe during the week and just look at those crowd levels when spring break hits. But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I just am glad you guys have joined us today. And with that friends, know that you are loved, you are valued. You, my friend, bring something to the table. And if you found value in this video, please hug that subscribe button. And until next time, bye.